Hey, it's Random Goat here, and today I want to talk about the concepts of CMD and Entry Point in Docker. And I want to showcase how we can use them together to actually take some input when we are running a Docker container. But firstly, you just have a very simple Docker setup where we have a Docker file, which is built from an Ubuntu image. We then have our Entry Point and our CMD. I just quickly explain. If we have a Docker file, we might have some run commands, which is then used to set up or build the image. When we then run our container, our entry point, or our CMD, or both, it's going to be run to then start the project. And the main difference is that entry point is always run, and CMD is only run if no other arguments are given. Let's now build our image. So we would first do Docker images, just to check we have no images here. I will then do Docker build dash t to give it a tag and let's just call it cmd underscore ent and we're going to build it from our current position because we're inside the folder of our docker file we then give it a few seconds to build mine's going to be quite quickly because i already have some kind of ubuntu specified this version saved in like the local docker area so it's going to be building quite quickly for you it might take a few seconds if we just showcase Docker images, we now have the CMD and T image. And I can then run it. And simply, if I just run it without any inputs, it's going to be returning world. Because what it does is it's just going to adding these two together. So inside the Ubuntu environment, we're just going to end up running the command echo world, which simply prints world to the screen and as mentioned it's always going to run them together and always entry point so if we instead of just doing docker cmd enc without any inputs we then add instead of doing echo world we can do echo test for example this test document is then going to be used in an input and replace everything inside cmd so now our Ubuntu environment is going to be running echo because we're always going to be running the inputs from entry point. But instead of world, we're then going to be replacing it with test. So running this should print test to the screen. And it does. Just one thing to note, which is actually quite important if we want to do something more complex. In this case, we're just doing echo and then something. If we want to do something that's a bit more complex, we might have multiple inputs in our line of stuff that's being computed inside Ubuntu. We would need to, instead of just doing, let's say we wanted to run some kind of start something, and it should be printed like this, start something, and we then added some parameter. We would need to do it as an array, where we just start, comma, something. Of course, it's not going to run because this isn't the real command. But just note that we need to add each part of the line we want to run into separate like parts of this entry point array. But that is the general concept. Entry point is run every single time. CMD is run with if we don't have any extra arguments. If we have any extra arguments, they're going to replace CMD. So I hope this information was helpful and might help someone struggling with this problem. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful day.